What's going on guys, T2RX6 here, back for another third party review, and today we're taking a look at the Dr. Wu DWP06 partners, and they go as kind of an upgrade for our MP10 here, which these guys are hitting to uh, Toys R Us, so make sure you're out there looking for one, because this is still one of my favorite Transformers I own. Um, I recommend them to anyone, and at 100 bucks, he's a steal. I plan on getting the one from uh, Toys R Us as well. So, let's take out Spike here, which is the accessory. You kind of open the front, and Spike fits in there. And this was Spike, just to refresh your memory. You know, very generic looking. Doesn't really scream Spike or anything like that. So... And then Dr. Wu came along, and they give you this really cool little pill box. That's all it is. Just a little hard case with a picture of Optimus Prime and a spike and spark plug on there. Now, one thing to note, the way that this is cast, these hinges, the, the uh, finger pieces, are a little bit sharp, so be careful. And inside, you get uh, an extra bag, apparently. And you get... Your two uh, guys just in their respective Ziploc bags. So let's open them up here. And we'll start with Spike since we have Spike already. And you can see he's pretty nicely detailed. Let me see if I can get in there. He's at least got eyes and stuff, which is something that the uh, one that comes with MP10 does not have. Much more defined look to him, wearing the hard hat and the shorter yellow boots instead of the knee highs. Uh, overall, for the size, he is actually a little bit taller than uh, Spike that comes with MP10. And we'll look at Spark Plug here. Also looking good, definitely a much older looking face on him. A little bit wider than uh, Spike so very cool the articulation on this guy is pretty much the same as the uh, MP10 figure you've got the shoulder you've got the uh, jointed legs and then the jointed knees so they can sit within Optimus Prime and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take them and we'll fit them right in now the fit is definitely a little bit tighter um, for spark plug and it actually you can't really see him through the window there so that could be a flaw let's see spike this is actually the first time I'm putting them in to mp10 here so yeah you can see their head barely clears the top but they do get closed up in there and you can see them sort of but I don't know they're not as nicely in the window as uh, the little spike that comes with MP10. Uh, of course, they'll interact with all the other things like roller and all the little seats and stuff within the trailer. But they're not bad. Uh, they're just sized a little bit off, I think, for MP10. They would have been better, just slightly shorter. But they do have a lot of really nice detailing on them. So they will look pretty good probably on your masterpiece shelf if you've got one uh, to stand in as the two most prominent of humans in the G1 cartoon. Let's see if they can stand okay. They're very difficult to stand. Yeah, standing is definitely an issue on these guys uh, just because you don't really have much to work with. Now one thing I was also curious of is how these guys would scale with say one of these and certainly they are way too short for standing outside of it in car mode because what humans only come up to just a little over the hood maybe Danny DeVito and I don't know but <laughs> You know, the, the size for the car is a little bit off, but they are still sized, I believe, that we could put them in the little driving pose here and kind of 
shove them on in here. And I don't know if that this will necessarily work for uh, Master P Sideswipe when he comes out because I don't believe he has seats. But at least in terms of the alternative cars, they do fit in there pretty nice and that's kind of cool. Um, get spark plug in here. If that's a big deal to you, uh, making use of the seats or showing somebody driving them, I think it's a just a cool little additional thing that they can do. Get that on in. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now they're out for a trip in their uh, GTR. So yeah, they're uh, pretty cool figures. They look really nice inside the vehicles. A little bit big for being inside MP10. But uh, certainly better than this little guy. So, like I said, this was just a really quick video review. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week.